So I've had some questions about where our animals sleep in the winter and if our barn is heated and what we do with them. So that's what I am going to share with you. It's a couple days before Christmas here. Uh, it's been chilly for the last few days. It's been in the 20s and now on Christmas Day it's supposed to be in the 60s. So uh, it kind of varies where we live. But I'm going to show you what we do with our animals during winter. So this is on the side of the barn. This is Miss Hattie, our livestock guardian dog. So for water, we keep this out here. Now it does have ice in it because it was empty. And I use this blue bucket for them to drink out of and to refill that one. Then we have this one that I try to keep full. You can see I had to bust the ice. I pulled out of this one and put in these two because of course this has to be drained or it freezes, which right now it's frozen. So that is what this is. This is hooked up to electricity. There's an element in the bottom, which of course keeps that from freezing. That is wonderful. Uh, we did not have one until, let's see, last, last year, or whenever I had to come out here and do all the chores, we should have bought one for our girls when they were, when we had goats. She's voicing her displeasure with me. She wants new hay outside today, which is something we're going to do as well. But this is where they get their water. Now they have a lot of room out here. Um, some of these are sectioned off in the spring and the summer. But this is their door that they can go into. That's always kept open for them to go in and out. And um, so they have access to whatever they want. Right now we don't have a whole lot of grass. And, um, and if we do, it's dead. <laughs> but they do have hay out back, which you can kind of see that back there where the sun is shining. Now, Hattie, actually spends her nights there. I found her yesterday morning, came out here before the sun came up to feed and milk. And uh, she was on top of the hay because that's where she sleeps. All right, so if we go around the side and come in the front where I usually come in at. And when it's really, really cold, these doors will actually be shut. She is not happy with me. So these doors will actually be shut and I will come in one of the side doors. But um, right now, it's not a big deal. They're fine. Now, if it were to get windy and cold, then I would shut those because I don't want a breeze going through here with this open door back here. Like I said, that one always stays open. I don't know how I'm going to do this video with her constantly voicing her displeasure to me. But... So back here is their pen that they can come into anytime they want to. We have some feed buckets. I have minerals, um, their water. Of course, you saw that outside. Now, this right now needs to be cleaned a little bit. This is kind of messy on this side, but they actually sleep. You can see my pile of stuff that needs to go out to the garden. Compost, uh, manure pile. But over here is where they usually sleep. So they kind of stay over here. So this is not wet. This is stays hard. They, she stands over here and pees all over that and cows pee a lot. I'm just saying. So over here, um, I usually break down a straw bale and we'll put it, most of it here and then I will spread some over here. But right now I need to scoop some of this out because it is uh, wet and um, it's very pooey. And so I will empty this wagon full, come back and then kind of clean that up a little bit put it in this wagon, and then I'll put down new straw. But other than that, they're really good. They get, she gets alfalfa when she gets milked, and I give her a little treat of alfalfa to get her back in the pen when she's done. But then she gets all the grass uh, in the summer and the spring that she wants outside. And then of course, whenever, I think we put, started putting a bale out towards the end of October when we saw the grass wasn't as much as what we wanted. We did have an extra area that we fenced in that we were able to put her in that hadn't, they hadn't been in. So we had grass longer than I was expecting. So that was really nice. But we're gonna move out some hay. We have uh, three more large bales over here that will hopefully get us through winter whenever the grass gets up again. We're gonna, I will definitely be sectioning off so that that can grow and we don't have to worry about them eating it down, like all of it down really fast. But let's go check out the chickens and um, I think that's about it other than the kitty cats. So the kitty cats are outside. Our, our daughter has, our youngest daughter has one inside that she takes care of. She sleeps in her room. And then we have four out here. One we've not seen in a while, but we have four outside 
These two males that um, are neutered, they stay out here mostly in the barn. They're the ones that you might see in my videos that come and eat their breakfast each morning whenever I'm milking and I give them a little bowl of milk. But they stay out here. They get up in the hay, they get up in the loft, um, they just find them a nice little warm spot and they come out here. Uh, once the, the animals are outside, they're kind of used to the cold and as long as they have a draft free area to sleep in, they're usually pretty good. This is where a lot of that manure is going because this is my food forest that I'm still working on. And you can tell that the caterpillar tunnel is still not done, just the ribs over there. Okay, so now we are over here by the garden. Looks kind of wintry, <laughs> bare, blah. So here we have the chickens. Now, believe it or not, we had one rooster in this, our blind rooster, and he lived in this all winter last year and was perfectly fine. I was kind of worried about him, but when we got snow, it actually insulated this, so he was really good. We have three roosters in here right now. Two of these that look alike right there probably are going in the freezer. Then we have all these chickens over here, which there are three roosters right there that are black and they are possibly going into the freezer as well because we do have an Arcana rooster that is beautiful and um, he's probably the only one that we're gonna keep. So the same thing with chickens, as long as they have a nice cozy spot to go, we have never heated our coop. Um, I do have a heater under the water, so I don't have to worry about that. We used to have to switch out. Um, I got tired of doing that because I was doing the chicken chores, so I bought that. And also because one of our metal waterers we've had for so many, well, we had them since we first got chickens many years ago, was rusted and leaking. So now we just have one, so I couldn't switch them out. And it makes a mess in the laundry room when they thaw out in the house. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So, as long as you have a draft-free chicken coop, you should be good. As long as it's in, you know, it's tight, there's not a bunch of drafts. In here, if you can see it, in here there's the water with the little warmer underneath it. Now these are for the metal waterers. Their food is hung up in here that I give them. Uh, we have these windows in here that we shut. And then the only other thing that we have left to do is we have a piece of what's it called like pink insulation or like foam insulation that we do put on the front of this and we screw to the door it is not lovely but it works so we'll put that on there we may have to get a new one because they did peck off the bottom but this helps to keep the draft out um, which works really well we don't actually shut this door over here for the chickens they come in and out as they please we have dogs around um, our dogs around so we haven't really had any trouble with predators a whole lot. Hopefully I did not just jinx myself. But the chickens can actually get in and out. They can fly in and out. We don't have their wings clipped, which is something I'm considering. That's it for that. So you don't have to have, um, you know, a bunch of heat. Um, I'm not sure, you know, where we live. It does get below zero sometimes in the winter, probably in January, February sometimes. But um, like right now it's in the 20s and um, it, you know, that's, I don't know, maybe average. We kind of have some weird winters we have here lately. So, you know, like it's gonna be 63 or something on Christmas day, which is gonna be weird. All right, so that's it. That is my little video answering some questions about what we do with our animals in the winter. Now we do have three dogs inside. Um, they stay, they come in and out as they want to. Like I said, the cats have learned to kind of snuggle up together or find somewhere to go. And um, the other animals have a draft free area that they can get to. So they are all good. As long as they have food to eat, produce that energy and water to drink, they're good. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make sure you put them below. And as always, don't forget to be lovely lights today. I forgot to add this little I don't know what you call it, little tip or um, nugget of information that I kind of knew but I actually read the other day and found out. So going back to cows, knowing if you see cows out or if you have cows, maybe you're new to the whole cow, um, 
So if you get snow or you get like frost or whatever you get, if your cow actually has like a frosty layer of snow on top of them, if they're outside eating and they don't seem to mind the cold, then that's good. They have built up their fatty layer and their fur is doing, their hair is doing what it should be. It, it is thickening. Um, they're getting their winter coat to protect them and that is going to trap heat inside their body, which is what we want. Now, uh, I think that goes with goats as well, as far as I know, because I've seen our goats out with snow on top of them before. Um, and Hattie, so our livestock guardian dog that you saw earlier. Now, if you do see cows out and they don't, you know, it's snowing and they've been outside and they don't, you know, there's no like none sticking to them and they just seem super clean. That could be concerning, um, depending on, you know, if they're outside all the time. That means that their body is releasing that heat it's not trapping it and they could be cold so if you see cows out more than likely if they have like a snowy blanket on top of them they're good they have that uh, heat trapped inside so uh, you don't have to worry about them but that was just a little extra nugget to tack on to the end here i forgot about <laughs>